This is a great day for Hartford and the whole Wiregrass Arena. And I'm from Wilcox County and I clearly understand the power of the people at the local level to take leadership and make things happen. And I'm just grateful for all the hard work that's gone on to make this event today possible. Many economic development projects are conducted and coordinated at the local level. And folks, that's a good thing. It shows your leadership and so shows you're engaged and speaks volumes to the companies you're working with. So let's thank our local leaders. Mayor Sorrells, you've done a great job in the Hartford City Council. We thank you and Wiregrass EDC Executive Director Jonathan Tullis, Representative Donnie Chastain, Representative Paul Lee. We certainly thank you for what you've done to help put this project together, but I know it took a lot of effort on a lot of people's part and we are grateful. And additionally, I'd like to personally thank Air Performance CEO, President and CEO Dave Bearden for believing in this area, for investing in this area, and for expanding his fine company. Since taking office on day one, my commitment to my administration and to the people of Alabama is to recruit more jobs to our great state. I've pledged to provide more employment opportunities for Alabamians today and for future generations. Not only are we trying to attract new companies, but also to encourage existing firms to expand. When companies choose to expand, it speaks volumes in a favorable way about the business climate, the positive business climates here in Alabama. When our businesses choose to expand, they become our best economic development recruiters because they can tell other firms about doing business in Alabama and how successful they can be as well. So today's announcement by Air Performance is a shining example of what can happen when local leaders work together to make things happen for the people of their area. To help make our performances location here possible, I'm proud to announce that I have awarded a community block grant of $87,000 for use by the city of Hartford. <laughs> These funds were given through the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs and they will enable the city to install a new public water system and sewer to this new facility. I especially appreciate Ken Boswell for being here. He's the new director of ADECA and he is doing a fine job. This um, is a great example of what can happen when the public sector and the private sector work together to create new jobs. Our goal is to attract and give those businesses that are willing to make an investment like Air Performance to create new jobs in Alabama. And as governor, I'm leading our state to do all we can to make economic growth and success an everyday norm, not the exception. Now no doubt, Alabama has a lot of challenges facing us. But you know, a steady, good paying job for our men and women goes a long way to solving those problems. One of the best parts of my job is to participate in events like t today and I am so proud to be here and it shows that what can be achieved when all levels of government work together. I'm proud that we currently have announced uh, recently that um, our unemployment has dropped to 4.6 percent and that we now have more Alabamians working today than they've worked in any time in the last 10 years. Folks, that is good news. But at the same time, the reality is we have over 100,000 Alabamians who want a job but don't have a job. So we've got to do a whole lot more. These are men and women we know, our neighbors, our friends, some of our family members across the state. So we've got to create jobs. And uh, I'm working every day to ensure that those men and women who want a job can have a job, but not just any job. I want our people to be well qualified, well trained, 
and have a good paying job so that they can provide for their families and be productive citizens. So to Dave Bearden and all the folks at Air Performance, thank you for continuing to invest in our state. We understand the importance of investment and the decision you had to make. And we thank you for that. We thank you for seeing the potential in Alabama, the potential in our men and women in the wiregrass, and the potential for the leadership here in Hartford that's devoted to economic development. Now more men and women in this area can have quality jobs and future generations don't have to wonder that they can have these jobs and they'll be available in the years to come. So thank you all for having me here today. Thank you for what you've done and thank you for what you're gonna do. <laughs> Who knows, Dave Beard and Air Performance may expand again and we hope they do. I'll be back if they do. <laughs> So may God continue to bless each of you, your families, the great state of Alabama, and these United States of America. Yeah.